Measurement, lesson one, tools and vocabulary. Hi, I'm Mrs. Schneider, and today we are learning different standard units of measurement and the tools we can measure with. Why do we need to learn about measurement? People measure every day. In this picture, you can see the construction worker is measuring this piece of wood so that he can build the walls of a house. Whenever you go to the doctor, they also measure you to see how tall you are. Whenever you wanna hang a picture, you have to measure. First, you have to measure to make sure it will fit in the space that you want it. And then you'll have to measure to make sure that it will hang at the right height. We also measure our waists to see what size pants we are. And if we go to a tailor to get our clothes made, they will measure to make sure that our sleeves will fit us. And archaeologists also measure and scientists measure. And whenever we purchase things, we measure to make sure that they will fit in our home or in our backyard. For example, if we wanted to get this swing set, we would need to make sure that there's enough room in our backyard. And this says 10 feet, three inches by nine feet. When we wanna measure how tall something is, that's called the height. And when we want to measure how long something is, that's called the length. A lot of people catch fish and they measure how long the fish is that they caught. So let's discuss. Do you think this is a good way to measure a television? I've measured a television like this before. Let's talk about it. Use this sentence frame to answer. Go ahead and pause the video. I do or don't think this is a good way to measure a TV because okay I'm gonna give you my answer I don't think this is a good way to measure a TV because it's not very accurate and when I did this before my hands got closer and closer and closer and it wasn't the actual measurement of the TV. All right, let's see here, we have paper clips. And here I am on the phone. What do you mean the TV is 25 paper clips long and 10 paper clips high? Are they big paper clips or small paper clips? So do you think this is a good way to measure a television? Use the sentence frame to answer. Now's a good time to pause the video to answer. Okay, I'm going to give my answer. Hmm, this is a tough one. I do and I don't think this is a good way to measure a TV. It is one way to measure a TV, but I think there's a better way. So I'm going to say I don't think this is a good way to measure a TV because maybe the person you're trying to give the measurement to, they might not have paper clips or they might not have the same size paper clips as you. Okay, let's discuss this one. Do you think this is a good way to measure a television? The TV is 17 inches long and 12 inches high. And see, they're measuring the 12 inches, including the base here, the base of the TV. So use the sentence frame to answer. I do or don't think this is a good way to measure a TV because, and now is a good time to pause the video and answer that question. All right, I'm gonna give you my answer. I do think this is a good way to measure a TV because everybody knows that 17 inches long is this long and 12 inches high is, is this high. And so if I gave that measurement to my friend, she would be able to have the same exact measurement as, as I would. Yay, the TV fits in the cabinet. Using standard units of measurement makes measuring easier and more accurate. But wait, what are standard units of measurement? Hmm, well there's standard units of measurement and there's non-standard units of measurement. 
Well, standard units of measurement are like normal accepted ways to measure that, that everyone else is able to use as well. And non-standard units of measurement are not normal or not used by everyone, but they can be used to measure things. So for standard units of measurement, those include inch or inches, centimeter or centimeters, foot or feet, yard, and meter or meters. And in the parentheses here, you see how they're abbreviated. So inch is abbreviated I-N dot, and centimeter is C-M, feet or foot is F-T, yard is Y-D, and meter is M. And our non-standard units of measurement, this is like any object you can use to measure. So you, as long as they're the same size and you put them together end to end, not overlapping and not uneven, you can measure things. So you can see that the TV is 15 paper clips long. And that is one way to measure. It's just not the most accurate way to measure. You can also measure using crayons or or using blocks. You can also measure using your feet, although they're gonna be a different size than other people's feet. So let's look at an example. So a standard unit of measurement, a standard way that to measure a blue whale would be to measure it with a tape measure and say, okay, this blue whale is 90 feet. And most people would know how long that is. A non-standard unit of measurement would just say, okay, this blue whale is three buses long. Now you've measured that it's three buses, but you don't know exactly what size bus, what kind of bus. So if somebody else were to measure the blue whale, if they had a different bus, it might be a different number of buses. Why are there so many standard units? Why can't we just measure everything in inches or everything in centimeters, right? There's inches, yards, feet, centimeters, meters. Why so many? That's a great question. So there are different measurement systems used in the world. We're going to learn about the U.S. customary system and the metric system. So the U.S. customary system uses inches, yards, and feet. The metric system uses centimeters and meters. The U.S. customary system. So here you see a picture of the United States. The United States of America measures most things using the U.S. customary system, which me measures in inches, feet, and yards. And the metric system, see all of the blue countries? The metric system is used in most other countries. The metric system measures in centimeters and meters. You will learn more about customary and metric units of measure in third grade. There's more to it, but I don't wanna confuse you right now because there's other things that you can measure like liquid and weight and temperature, but you'll learn that as you go through grades. Today, we're going to be learning about inches, feet, and yards, or inch, foot, and yard using the U.S. customary system. Inch is abbreviated I-N. An inch is about the size of your knuckle to your, the tip of your thumb. That's about one inch long. Go ahead and measure it with a ruler and see. So from the point where your thumb bends to your the tip of your thumb, that's about one inch. You can use that to help you estimate when you're doing your measurements. If you're in the store and you don't have a ruler or a tape measure, you can use this part of your thumb to estimate one inch. A bottle cap is about one inch wide. On a ruler, this side of the ruler shows inches, okay? The bigger side is an inch. And you can tell you, if you put your little thumb there from the knuckle to the thumb tip will fit about right here. 
foot. Foot is abbreviated FT. There are 12 inches in a foot. So a regular sized ruler has 12 inches in it. So a regular ruler that you probably have in your classroom right now is one foot long. From your elbow to your fingertips is about 12 inches. From your elbow to your fingertips is about one foot long. The height of your folder at school is about one foot. Some people measure their height on a growth chart. And here, this growth chart is in feet. And this little girl is four feet tall. Lots of dads and uncles are about between five and a half to six feet tall. Some are even taller than six feet. All right, and if you go to Subway, they have a foot long sandwich, but guess what? It's not actually a foot long. Somebody measured their foot long sandwich at Subway and it was only 11 inches long. What happened to the other inch? Here, I measured my computer. You can see the ruler here. My computer is about 12 inches long. That means my computer is a foot long. Here's a measurement you've heard a lot this year, six feet. You see, he's telling him to stay back six feet. They don't have their masks on. We are supposed to stay six feet away from each other, but how far is six feet? Well, a couch is about six feet long. A twin mattress is about six feet long. Six rulers, if you put six rulers down on the ground, that would be six feet. Or if you put two yardsticks down, that's six feet. Our real feet are not a foot long because they are not 12 inches. Everyone has different sized feet. How long are your feet? This foot is nine inches long. This foot is 18 centimeters long, which is about seven inches. All right, now we're gonna learn about yard. Yard, which is abbreviated YD. There are 36 inches in a yard. That is the same as three feet. So down here, you'll see a yardstick, and a yardstick is the same as three rulers, right? Because each ruler has 12 inches. So 12, 24, 36. So a yardstick is 36 inches. Okay, and on the yardstick, you'll see the number 35, but you don't see 36, and that's because it gets cut off by the end. Okay, but there are 36 inches in a yardstick. A toddler, like maybe about two years old, is about the size of a yard. And here we see a football field. Football fields are measured in yards. Okay, there's, here's the 50 yard line, and that means there's 50 yards this way, and there's 50 yards this way. So altogether, there's 100 yards. So if a football player catches the ball down here and runs all the way down and touchdown, then they ran 100 yards. All right, now we're gonna learn about the metric system, centimeter and meter. A centimeter is about the width of your pinky. So hold your pinky up and look at it. That's about the size of a centimeter. Here you see if you put your pencil down, it's about the width of a pencil. A centimeter is about a width of one base 10 block. So one cube. On the other side of the ruler, see we learned about inches down here. If you flip it over, this side has centimeters. And you can see there are 30 centimeters on the ruler. Meter. A meter is 100 centimeters. That is the same as three rulers 
plus 10 more centimeters, okay? So here you see a yardstick, which has 36 inches, three rulers, which is the same as a yardstick, okay? And then here is the meter stick. So if you wanna measure a meter, it's a little bit longer than a yard, right? So the meter has 100 centimeters. Remember the ruler had 30 centimeters? So that'd be 30, 60, 90 centimeters, but then the meter has 100 centimeters, so there's still 10 more centimeters. Okay, now let's learn about measurement tools. The ruler, the tape measure, the yardstick, the meter stick. So this is one tool that we use to measure, a ruler. Rulers are usually 12 inches long, but you can buy longer ones, like 18 inches, sometimes 24 inches. Okay. Inches are on one side of the ruler and centimeters are on the other side. A ruler is the best tool to use to measure things that are smaller than 12 inches or smaller than 30 centimeters. Okay, here you see a ruler and on this side you see the small centimeters. Now let's flip it over. Oh, now you see inches. Another tool you can use to measure is a tape measure. Tape measure. A tape measure is the best tool to use to measure long items, but you can measure smaller items as well. Tape measures come in different lengths. You can buy tape measures that measure inches and feet. You can buy metric tape measures that measure in centimeters and meters, or you can buy tape measures that have both, inches on one side and centimeters on the other, just like a ruler. Here you see different pictures of, of men measuring with the tape measure. So they use it a lot in construction. And there's also soft tape measures. A soft tape measure is the best tool to use to measure round items. Soft tape measures are often used to find out what size clothes you wear. And when we go to the doctor, when we're little babies, the doctor always measures measures our head circumference with the soft tape measure. Yardstick. A yardstick is a good tool to use when you need to measure things that are less than 36 inches, which is the same as three feet long. I used a yardstick to measure this picture frame. It is about 25 inches long. I used a yardstick to measure my toddler. He is almost two years old and he is about 36 inches tall. See, he's about the same size as the yardstick. Meter stick. A meter stick is a good tool to use when you need to measure things that are less than 100 centimeters. I used the meter stick to measure the frame. It shows me that the frame is about 64 centimeters long. This dining chair is one meter tall. See the dining chair? It's one meter tall. That was a lot of information. I hope you go out and explore and have fun measuring. Have a good day.